everyone. This is a continuation of more uh, tests on this uh, bifowler wound toroid and um, I have obtained a 1 ohm uh, resistor there and as you can see uh, brown, black and gold that is 1 ohm and gold uh, band there is a 5% uh, accuracy and uh, that is my uh, current probe there which will be the yellow trace on the oscilloscope which we'll get to it's on uh, X1 and uh, this is my voltage probe it is also on X1 we are using a small voltage going through this because it's uh, being fed by my signal generator which is on the uh, 1 kilohertz uh, scale there and 6.25 which is 625 hertz I am on a square wave output. The attenuation is max, and this single generator can output a total of uh, 10 volts RMS. I'll just disconnect the circuit at this time. And if we look now at the uh, scope, uh, there's the uh, very clean uh, sine wave there. And if we go and look at the data there, we will see that it is uh, exactly uh, 10 volts RMS coming out of that uh, single generator. Um, notice that the uh, small amount of uh, volts RMS there uh, on the uh, on the current uh, probe on the uh, 1 ohm resistor when there is uh, nothing uh, running. The circuit is not operating right now. I just disconnected it but my probe is still connected there just to see what the voltage is across the coil. So now I will connect it. So the circuit is operating right now and if we look at the waveform it is quite uh, different at this time. So I'm really uh, zoomed in uh, quite a bit. Now before we uh, get too far into details here let's uh, I'm just going to notify you that my channel 2 probe is on invert here. So we're only going to be looking at it uh, with the probe on invert. So that means that my math means would be uh, would have to be in a negative uh, mode uh, for the circuit to consume, consume power and if you look at my means right now it's fluctuating between positive and negative so it is undecided and uh, that is the data there take note of that and here you can see the um, math calculation right there that big peak that is a return and this is the consumption right here and then again another return there and then a consumption there that long flat area right there and then again another uh, very large peak there return so that is uh, what is happening uh, with this uh, coil uh, in this way and uh, luckily I found a, a nice uh, low frequency so we're uh, so what I'll do right now is give you a shot here of my settings. So there's <coughs> channel 1 is on a 10 volt uh, setting, voltage division there. And on DC coupling and uh, times 1 as well. And my uh, channel 2, which is the current probe, is uh, on 200 millivolt setting, DC coupling 1 time as well we are triggering on channel uh, 1 which is the voltage and right now we're looking at a uh, times division of 200 microseconds so now what I'll do is I will uh, try to go there if I can find my mouse All right, and we will reduce the times division here so we have more uh, samples so now we're seeing a better picture of, of, of many samples. 
and we can we see all our peaks there those are the returns and you can see that there are variations in the returns some are peaking and dropping back down and you'll get a better picture of that once uh, we get uh, more and more samples so now this is the uh, data there that's happening so again uh, we are in a positive uh, mostly positive uh, means uh, it, well it fluctuates as well right there but uh, we don't have enough samples to uh, get a good uh, an accurate uh, reading so here again I will so right there we were on um, I believe uh, one one microsecond and we will get we're now on two microseconds time division and you can see that see here we have peaks there and then they're starting to drop there and uh, this uh, there's a really super fine tuning here that I can do and and what I'll do is I'll just turn that a little bit and see I can make those last peaks appear so now we have peaks happening all across and it's just a minute adjustment there's a really really fine uh, uh, frequency adjustment there now let's look at our uh, data now so if we look at our data uh, we're definitely in a positive uh, constantly holding positive uh, means here so the means should always be negative uh, unless uh, there's a special situation where you know power is being returned that's uh, what it should be so this needs to be uh, investigated and uh, understood why the uh, circuit is behaving that way and why it's so super sensitive like here I'll make a change there look at drop just a tiny tiny little change see there all gone there but it's still there and there so as we uh, back out more and more or reduce our uh, time division where we're on two microseconds and now I will drop it uh, so that's four microseconds so more samples again so as you see those peaks are up and down bouncing around and I'll just do a fine adjustment there try to keep them all up okay so now I have them all equally up there and if we go here and look at our data uh, we're starting to have some pretty serious uh, numbers there uh, as far as the mean is concerned we have a positive mean of 430 uh, 440 uh, millivolts there which that represents basically milliwatts we've got apparently 400 milliwatts uh, possibly being returned here okay so let's now uh, oh yeah before we uh, we go any further than that uh, I'm gonna do this as well at the same time you might have noticed that there uh, is an LED right here and that LED uh, can be lit at no cost to anything uh, here you've I've got a, a magnet that I've put onto the core of the uh, toroid there and this is a coil a um, high voltage coil off of a transformer whatever I had on the shelf there I just grabbed that and I uh, attached an LED to it and as you can see the LED is uh, fully lit uh, it's, a, it's a pretty small LED um, I don't know how much power these things take but basically there's there is it there it is away and uh, you know if we look at our waveform there we're seeing all of our math uh, peaks the return basically they're all still there and if we look at our math data there we're still at uh, somewhere behind between uh, around 400 uh, millivolts being returned and uh, so now I'm going to add that LED there so we have an output there coming off of that uh, core and if we go back and we look at what's happening there um, we have no difference 
So we're lighting that LED without having any effect on the uh, power consumption uh, on the toroid. So I find that uh, interesting. So let's uh, continue now and uh, drop our voltage uh, division here. We were at four. Let's uh, drop that. Uh, so now we're at, uh, sorry about the focus, 10 microseconds. And now if we look again, we have all our math at the top there. So here we're starting to see here at the back end here, we're, we've got like some kind of a modulation happening. And that modulation is a super, super sensitive. Uh, we'll uh, get to see that a bit. I'll do adjustments when we go further out as well. So there is the uh, math uh, means. So now we've actually have 1.25 volts, which would translate to basically one watt uh, of uh, positive return. So I'm having a hard time believing this, but uh, there must be something I'm overlooking. But as far as I'm concerned, I'm doing everything that I can to uh, get the uh, numbers accurate. Uh, before, just before shooting this video, I did uh, my both scope, uh, my both <laughs> probe calibrations. I've got a uh, output there, a one kilohertz output at the back of that uh, thing, and I've attached it to that. Perfectly calibrated probes. Uh, I ran my utility. I have a uh, a uh, section there in the utilities to in the utility to uh, to do a uh, calibration. I did both calibrations. So this is all fresh, perfectly calibrated. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, there's no errors. So let's now again uh, go and uh, do a, uh, another drop here. So now we're at 20 microseconds. And now you see that there is some kind of a modulation happening. And uh, you see all our peaks here and then you see some of them here on the bottom but if we still go and look at our, our data yeah, even though we're getting that view we're still in a positive uh, means there so and look at our volts RMS it's uh, right up there uh, there is no uh, drop there in, in the voltage so let's once again go and try to get a better picture of what's happening by uh, continuing to drop our uh, time uh, division here. And now we're on 40 uh, time division. And on 40 time division, we can now see here is our math. And then we have this kind of thing happening here that we have a return on the other side and then it continues back up and, and return and back up. So there's some kind of a chop, a little bit of a chop modulation. And that's what we were seeing in the uh, 20 uh, microsecond uh, time division uh, previously. So you can see there, now there's a huge amount of samples there. And with that, we should definitely be able to see now a constant uh, average of uh, what we have. And if we look at that, well, we now have a positive of uh, 2.8 watts, but <laughs> it's a very high number. Uh, very hard to uh, to comprehend that. So, anyways, this is uh, why I'm doing another video here so that I can share that. And uh, obviously, our LED is still lit here. And uh, if we go with the LED uh, removed from there and go look at our uh, data there, it's still uh, zero change there. We're still at uh, 2.7 uh, uh, volts uh, positive there. And now I'm just adding with my fingers here, the LED's been added there and you see uh, zero change there. Exactly, exactly the same. It's like uh, there's zero effect uh, with that being there or not. 
So, uh, I think that's about all I can do as far as uh, showing you. Uh, one thing I can do is I can just go here in my, uh, if I can find my mouse here. Uh, again here I'll go in my uh, channel and I'll go to my uh, probe, channel 2 probe, and I'll remove invert. And now you see all the math data now is on the bottom. So this is like more like the standard uh, way people are reading it with the uh, uh, non-inverted probe. And as you can see we have a minus uh, means uh, figure there. Same, identical, no difference. 2.75 range. So minus 2.75. So I'm not going to go through all the time divisions with the probe in the standard way, uh, not inverted. Uh, it's all the same. It's uh, not going to change. So except it'll just be a negative. So that's about it. And uh, thanks for uh, your time. And uh, would be very interested to uh, hear uh, what it is that I'm uh, not aware of or overlooking here. Because uh, this shouldn't be possible, right? So, thanks for your time. Bye now.